Welcome back, everyone. New laws went into effect this month that impacts those medical spas all across Texas. Whether it's Botox or even laser tre treatments, rather, cosmetic procedures are now being regulated for the safety of all patients. So here to talk more about these new changes, we have Dr. Young Cho, a board-certified plastic and reconstructive surgeon and the director of the Integrated Plastic Surgery Facility. And thank you so much for being here. And this is really some important information a lot of people need to be aware of, especially since I believe these rules went into effect November 1st. First, right? November 7th. No, November 7th. Okay, so tell us a little bit more about it. First of all, for those who don't understand, what is a medical spa? A medical spa is a place where certain medical aesthetic procedures are being performed. Okay. They could start from things like facials and peels, but they can also extend into services like you mentioned, Botox, um, laser devices, devices that tighten the skin or contour the body. So what led up to these new rules being implemented? The new, law, the new rules are really addressing patient safety and patient education. Um, there are medical spas where the physicians have very limited on-site presence or sometimes no on-site presence. And sometimes the physicians are inadequately trained in the medical aesthetic devices procedures. What this leads to are uh, technicians like uh, medical aestheticians or nurses who are doing the evaluation and the assessment of patients and providing the treatments and this can lead to variable outcomes or at times poor outcomes. So in other words if there's an emergency situation and someone's not there to handle it because they may not have the proper training that is one of the reasons why these new rules were put in place. Absolutely. Okay so for <coughs> how is this going to have an impact on those medical spas out there and how is it going to have an impact on patients themselves? I think overall the patient experience is going to be a better experience moving forward. They're going to be able to interact with a qualified and properly trained physician or a physician designee like a physician assistant or a nurse practitioner. Mm -hmm. They're going to be able to have a more informed discussion on what their medical aesthetic options are and go through an informed consent process which sometimes just gets hurried through the process and therefore leads to questions or, unex or expectations that aren't necessarily easy to manage. Okay, so it's all about overall health and maintaining the person's health while they're going through these procedures and searching for more questions and answers, which we also have based on you, thank goodness for that, mm -hmm. and also on our website as well. And so thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Cho. We appreciate it's a pleasure it. to be here. You can check out more information for yourself and explanations on the new medical spa laws by going to our website, abc13.com info. And still ahead.